Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this iPod Classic application. Now you do need to be jailbroken to get this. As you can see, um, what I have here is an iPod Classic emulator. It's fully functional and it works. Works perfect. Now I'm going to be showing you how to get this step by step, so let's get started. First, what you want to want to do is go to Cydia please keep in mind that this works for both iPod and iPhone devices so yeah let's uh, wait until this finishes loading Now you are going to have to add a source, which I'm going to be telling you in a minute. Okay, once you're in Syria, you want to go to Manage, Sources, you want to go to Edit, and Add. Now I already added this source, but I'm, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to add it right now. I already added it. So here's the source. Now, you go ahead and pause this video to get the source and take your time. It's uh, repo.beyouriphone.com. Please copy it as it is. Okay, once, once you're done uh, typing it in, go ahead and add the source. And, <coughs> excuse me, now you want, after you downloaded it um, successfully, you want to go to search and type in iClassic. Okay, and you want to go and search iPod Classic theme for iPod or iPhone. And you want to go ahead and add that application. Install it. Once you finish uh, downloading this application, you want to go to the home screen. And as you can see, this icon has been added to your iPhone or iPod device. You want to go ahead and click that or touch it. This is how it starts. Now as you can see, the lower part of the iPod emulator is nothing it's nothing like the real iPod Classic so in order to fix this you want to go back to your home screen and go to winter board and as you can see iPod Classic theme has been added into your winter board you want to go ahead and check that that's all you're going to have to do in winter board now I'm, it's going to respring once I hit the home button but this will exit out so that's normal but I'll put it back up as soon as it's done so you want to go back to your home screen and let it respring so let's let it load let it respring by the way guys if you haven't done so already please comment rate and subscribe I will be doing a bunch of videos from now on on iPhones and iPod touches. Oh, also I forgot to mention, when you um, download um that source, it will say that it's an ad it will have errors, but don't worry guys, it works. Just install it and just hit OK. Do not hit cancel. It won't stop 100%. Okay, it looks like my iPhone has is done respringing. Okay. So once your iPhone or iPod, iPod Touch device has been respring, now you want to go back to this icon. And 
and there you have it guys the bottom part of the iPod uh, uh, sorry iPod Classic has been fixed and it's fully functional here's a demo it even does a clicking as you can see you can hear okay so I'm gonna show you guys that this does work this gets your songs off your original iPod application so you don't have to add anything it's already in here there you go guys as you can see it's legit let's see now it is a bit a bit sensitive but still okay and you want to hear let me, let me go to a song there you go guys it works perfectly as if it were a real iPod touch I'm sorry iPod classic Do you, I don't know if you guys can hear that and it works perfect okay guys well that's it for this video please comment rate, and subscribe to me if you like my videos and thank you peace out